Lexi DIY and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to be pulling up the carpet in my office, which I was not expecting to do, but sometimes your brain says something and you're just like, all right, let's go with it. Um, but before we get into that, I wanted to give a huge shout out to one of my um, members of my membership here on YouTube, I actually didn't even realize that anybody had actually subscribed to my membership. So shout out to Missy uh, Talby, I think is how you say your last name. Thank you so much for being a member. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you guys didn't know, there is a membership and you can find it in my description box below. You get a badge, some custom emojis. You'll also get priority reply to comments as well as like status updates and things like that. It's really fun as well as, you know, shout outs like this. So if you want a chance to get a shout out like this, you can go ahead and join my membership below. But anyway, let's stop talking about all the YouTube -y things and just get into the video. This is what my office was like when we first moved in. Since then, we have removed those drapes and um, gave it a fresh coat of paint. But here's kind of a sneak peek at my office renovation. And while I was in the middle of this, I decided I was gonna rip up the carpet because I didn't have all of the tools and stuff that I normally had in here and it was pretty cleared out and I thought, you know what, now is the perfect time. My mind was like, Lexi, it's go time, baby. So let's just take up the carpet. And that's what I did. So I pulled everything out and then I used my utility blade to just cut between the entryway and my office because for now we are keeping the carpet in the entryway but it'll come up sooner or later. Don't, don't you fret about that. Dustin has no idea I'm doing this. Hi. He's gonna be in for a surprise when he gets home. Uh, all right. Clearly, I am an extreme hot mess, but is anybody surprised? No, the answer is, the answer is no. Uh, so I started pulling it up from the corner. It was already kind of loose at the corner, and like I said, we did know that there were hardwood floors under here because we had gotten a peek before we even bought the house because that corner was already up. Um, but, you know, I was really shocked to find that they were in really good condition. Uh, you'll see a little bit later in the video that there was like a lot of paint like splatter and there was a few spots but there was nothing like severely crazy with them so I was really excited about that. Um, basically what I'm doing is I'm just pulling back the carpet and then pulling up the underlayment. Now, um, I started to just kind of like rip it off. You could use your utility uh, blade to do that or what I did for the underlayment was just use my foot and like rip it with my hands. And then for the carpet, it was much easier if I cut along the back side of it than if you try to cut through the front side of it. So that's like a tip that will save you so much more time. And I'm just rolling it up into these smaller rolls. And I use painter's tape, but I would highly recommend and going with something a little bit stronger like maybe duct tape. Um, it did hold and I used them so that I could carry them but you could totally do this in one big piece if you wanted to. I felt though that this way was easier and kind of saved some space in our portable dumpster. Um, and once I got the last piece up, I was so excited. You know, it looked like a whole different room and now it just feels so much more homey, but it was pretty dirty, so we still had a lot of work to do. Here were all my carpet rolls and off camera, I took them to a portable dumpster and I would have filmed it, but it was like 100 degrees outside and my camera was literally fogging up. So fail on my part there. Uh, but before I take all of the tack strips up and the staples, I wanted to just give it a quick sweep because I knew that I was gonna be sitting on the floor taking up you know, things out of the floor and I didn't really wanna sit in a bunch of dust. There was probably generations of dust under there. Let, just, it was a lot of dust. So I swept that up and then I started to take all of the little carpet staples out. Now there's a lot of different ways that you could do this. I found that using a little pair of pliers was really easy. You can also use um, a, like a little flathead screwdriver. You do have to be careful with the pliers just not to scratch the floor, but in my case they were pretty far up. And then, Getting the tack strips up was a little bit more challenging and I ended up actually using this thing that we got to take the tile off in the bathroom because it was getting under the tack strips a lot easier than um, my little crowbar and 
you know, even though it was like the tiniest crowbar that you can get. So I definitely recommend using that. It made it a lot easier. And then since there were all those little like tacky things, I um, just grabbed it after I had pried it up with my pliers. That way I didn't have to touch the sharp stuff. So that was definitely helpful. I also periodically went through with my little handheld vacuum and kind of just sucked up the dust. And then Dustin was home and he so graciously offered to help me take the staples out of the center while I was still taking a staples and tack strips out around the sides. So it definitely helped to have two people doing it. But let me tell you, this was probably just like the worst part. Our backs were crying the next day. Um, and then I just took my vacuum and kind of vacuumed everything up and you'll see Dustin sitting on the floor because I was actually live on TikTok and he was like answering questions. I still need to figure out how to go live on YouTube and like how I need to get the camera set up because it's just a little different for TikTok. It's directly from my phone and YouTube would be from a camera. So it's a little more complicated. Anyway, um, then I used this Tinco that I bought at Walmart. I honestly did not like it at all. It left my floor with this really weird like wax, not wax, but like just weird marks over it. So I don't really recommend that. And then I have all these paint splatters like I had mentioned before and we used a magic eraser to get them up. Now, this did work. It took a lot of elbow grease, but we were suggested by some people on my TikTok Live not to do this because it does bring the top coat and some of the stain up, but you know, it was what it was. And then I just gave the whole floor a clean before I went back to do some more spot clean with just some Zep um, like floor cleaner that I got at, I think it like Lowe's. And I, there was some, like this was basically the worst spot on the floor. I did get it fairly, you know, fixed, but it's not perfect still. So basically I just gave the floors like a light clean and then I was like, I'm gonna try everything that I find on the internet to get these paint spots off without having to use the magic eraser. So I found a video that said mineral spirits would do the trick and they did, but for the big globs of paint, it took forever. It was way more difficult and I felt like I had to go at it with like that little scraper and that wasn't really working. I even used my scrub daddy, which is like the holy grail of all sponges and that didn't work. I used the scrub daddy magic eraser because I thought maybe this will be a little bit more gentle. No, definitely. It, it still worked like the magic eraser, but it was actually a little bit more difficult for it to come up. Um, so overall getting those big paint spots up was was really tricky i used this rejuvenate like floor stuff wasn't really coming up it you know it came up but it was taking a long time and i couldn't like there was no way my arms were making it through doing the whole floor now here was where they had like smeared some paint and i used mineral spirits in a rag here and this worked so well it definitely takes a lot of elbow grease but it was much easier when it wasn't in like a thick glob. Once I was super tired of cleaning, you can still see there's a bunch of paint spots on the floor, but we aren't sanding and restaining for a while, so I didn't want to bring up any more of the top coat. And what I'm using here is some Rejuvenate Floor Polish, like refinish, resurface and this worked really well you can see the big difference it made and basically this is to hold us over until we can uh finish the floors or refinish the floors we just really wanted to do more than one room at the same time so that we don't have to rent an expensive sander or a few expensive sanders um for you know more than like one or two times so we're gonna hold off on actually refinishing everything but the carpet and the rest of the house is going to come up very soon here so i'm really excited about that but this did a great job if you guys have any other suggestions about how to get that paint up without ruining the floors please make sure to leave a comment and let me know because i'd still really love to get the paint up if i can in the meantime before we're ready to sand and restain Here's a quick before and after. Thank you so much.
much if you made it all the way to the end of this video. I am so excited that the floors were in pretty good condition underneath and I'm really excited that my office feels a little bit more homey now. Speaking of my office, you might get a little sneak peek of my office makeover that is behind me, which I'm very excited about. And that video, I am shooting for it to be up on Thursday. It's already edited and everything, but we actually have a sponsor. You guys, we have our first sponsor on YouTube and I'm so excited. Uh, yeah, you guys are gonna be starting to get two videos a week. I know I've said it before, but I'm really dedicating myself to it now. Make sure if you did like this video that you give it a big thumbs up and that you comment down below because it really helps the YouTube algorithm push out my video and I totally appreciate it. Uh, also, if you're not already a hot mess homie here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell notification so you never miss when I upload next. Uh, follow me on all my other social medias. They'll be linked here on the screen and in the description box below. But that's it for me today, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!